Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. <laughs> I don't know why I started so high. Hello my dears and welcome back to my corner of the internet. I'm Shannon and today I have another spoiler free book review to share with you guys. Today we are talking about The Handyman Method by Nick Cutter and Andrew F. Sullivan. I was able to get my hands on an early copy of this book thanks, thanks to NetGalley and um, I was excited to read it. I hadn't read anything by either of these authors before, um, although I'd heard a lot of really good things about Andrew Cutter. And this book sounded right up my alley. It's a bit of a haunted house story and um, yeah I was I was excited to see what it was all about. So for these spoiler free reviews we'll do just a basic synopsis then at the end I'll tell you briefly kind of my thoughts and who I'd recommend it for. So this book is about Trent and his wife Rita and their I think 10 year old son I think, I think he's 10 Milo and they move into a brand new house brand new just built. In fact, it's not quite even finished being built. The grass isn't down that yet, which is a major point of contention for Trent. And they're excited. Trent specifically is very excited to get into this new life of owning his new home. He's currently on leave from work, sort of a mandatory stress leave because of an incident that happened at his work. He's a lawyer and him and his wife used to work at the same firm. So now he's excited to kind of dig his hands into this house and enjoy his time off. Now um, of course that's not quite gonna go to plan. <laughs> Things are gonna go very poorly very quickly for Trent. Um, what ends up happening is the first day they move in he's first upset about the soil but then he goes upstairs and in their bedroom closet he notices there's, there's, he notices there's a huge a huge crack in the wall and he's like are you kidding me? crack. So he goes to YouTube and he decides he's going to look up how to fill the crack himself. He's like, these, the contractors, they gotta finish what they're doing. I'm not going to bring this to them. It would take forever. It'd be quicker, easier if I do it myself. So he finds this YouTube channel hosted by a guy named Hank. And what do you know? He's got a video, just the video Trent's looking for on how to fix a crack. And Trent really, um, starts doing a lot of different projects around the house and what do you know there's a video from Hank for every single project he wants to do. And from there things really just they don't go great. They don't go great and um, things are getting weirder and weirder in the house. They're affecting not just Trent but also Milo. Not Rita so much. But Trent and Milo are definitely, definitely feeling the effects of this house. And this one comes out in August, again on August 8th. This is the third spoiler free review I've done in a row now where the book comes out August 8th. I got one more coming up. It's gonna be a banger of a day for book releases. So that's the basic gist of the book. My personal thoughts were I enjoyed it. There were some parts that I really had to skim through because for my own personal taste, when things get a little too gory in a sort of body horror sort of way, I don't love that. Um, and so I kind of skimmed over those parts. There's one, especially early on, that I was like, nope, I can't read that, and just skimmed over it. I also, I also want to give a warning that if you're sensitive to any sort of um, animal death, maybe, maybe you wouldn't love this one. I don't, I don't like that personally either, but I know for some people it's no big deal. So if you don't mind that, I think you'd love it. I think it's an interesting story that's very well written. I loved really reading in the acknowledgments as well. Nick Cutter was talking about how um, he had wanted to collaborate with Andrew and it started off they were going to um, do a short story. So this book started off as a short story. Then it got longer and longer. Eventually a publisher was interested, but they're like, you're going to have to make it longer. So I'm sure that it's still a fairly short book, um, I think. <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. Yeah, it didn't take me long to get through it. I think it's like between 250 and 300 pages maybe. 
Um, but it's cool to think that it went from just a short story to a full length novel. And I think the extra detail probably really benefits this story. Although I could also picture it as a short story. Anyway, um, so I thought that was cool to read how it sort of came about. Also, I, there's this sort of central problem with the house. Um, I wish I kind of got more info into it. I'd love to know more history, like more details on the history of why this is happening, <laughs> which I'm not going to say. But um, if you've read it or when you read it, you'll definitely understand. All in all, I'm probably going to give this a 3.5 for me personally, round it up to 4, because just because of the, the parts that I've already mentioned. I wish we had a bit more background and um, the body horror. I had to skip through. <laughs> but all in all, I think it's a really well told story and I think a lot of people are gonna love it. Love it, love it. Um, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it quite a bit. So this is a quick one just because it's hard to... These spoiler free reviews, it's always a little hard to know where to stop without giving too much away. So next video, we're gonna be doing a full book talk on a book that's already out called, um, I think The Marriage Act by John Mars. I haven't read anything by him before, so I'm excited to get into this one. And I, I know a lot of people love him. He writes sort of speculative fiction and I do like that genre a lot. So yeah, keep an eye out for that. If you liked this, subscribe, like, leave a comment, tell me how you're doing and um, yeah, again, mark your calendars, August 8th. Lots of great books coming out that day. So I will see you guys again real soon. Bye.